Hello, and welcome back to episode 14 of Death of the Outsider. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel, and as promised, we are now on our way to Shinderi Quarry. Let's see where it takes us. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight I'll find out if he can still bleed. Really, you think this is it already? This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. At least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality, breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered the more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge, they are never satisfied, no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever God came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names. And ambitions. Now, they wander this place. Their minds snared up with terrible secrets. Keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. Do I have a choice? the outsider or find another way there we go yeah so apparently after spending all of that time finding and killing all of those people and putting that guy in the chair I didn't complete the contract the only thing I can think of is that there were two chairs down there and I put him in the wrong one and I'm not happy about that because they're both music chairs so they should have worked But that's something for me to concern myself with another time. We have new things to do now. I died because they demanded it. But soon, there won't be any more to ask. I suppose, based on the history of moral choices we've been offered in the game, there's going to be an option to 
somehow spare the outsider. Where is everyone? I hate this place already. Well, we'll keep that equipped for now, I think. It looks pretty modern for something where people have been wandering for millennia since they created the Outsider, don't you think? You know, on the whole, I found you rat friends rather unhelpful. I suppose I shouldn't blame you. But I was hoping for a little more. There's another poster down there. There's a statue over there. There's a bone charm nearby. There's a hole in my bucket. Anything else? No, I don't need to mark whale oil tanks. But I do want to mark bone charms. There we go. talking to them, like the lonely rat boy from the stories. We're not in the story. The void needs you. I don't want to go to the void anymore. I've seen what happens. The stone grips more than your body. It takes over your mind and heart. This is our purpose, Antero. This is why we're here. Don't fight the influence of the endless and empty. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to become like them. <clears throat> Don't worry, you Can you imagine he's hostile? of what? <clears throat> well, that's not the way I wanted you to go. Why do they look like that? You can do with that oh, oh, come on. Any vision? Just so unnecessary. I didn't want him to die. What do we got here? Cipher lock? Great. How about that bone charm, though? It 
it's right there. But I don't think I can get in that window. So, it's this building. Anything? No. Yeah, how could all of this construction have taken place and also this place be so obscure that most people don't believe it exists? That don't make no sense. There we go. Healthy appetite. Food restores more health. Well, that's kind of nice, I guess. Weirdly intact newspaper. Concerning reports have disrupted mining activity at Sundari North Quarry yet again, with many working on site complaining of unsettling visual and auditory hallucinations. These have ranged for se from seemingly innocuous instances of misplaced equipment to large sections of the mine disappearing and reappearing within hours. The widespread nature of these collective hallucinations have made them difficult for the Shindari Mining Company to dismiss. Furthermore, rumors of black damp miners slang for lack of breathable air caused by underground gases have spread, leading to several threats for a general strike across the company's workforce, as well as a growing labor shortage as many miners choose to leave the troubled site. Accusations of poor working conditions, particularly lack of adequate ventilation, are entirely unfounded and ultimately harmful to our operations said Berenice Castiglia, Castiglia, a representative of the Shindari Mining Company when reached for comment. We are committed to the health and safety of our workers and have taken steps to ensure those reporting headaches, memory loss, and hallucinations have access to proper counseling and treatment. Standard PR damage control. Probably false. Hmm. I would like to go up, please. No? There's no up in here? Damn, I thought that was going to be more helpful. Maybe over this way. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this place is certainly in disrepair, but it's not, like, thousands of years abandoned. Maybe, like, tens of years abandoned. I know you don't believe me, but I saw it again. The air shivered and split apart and sealed up again like a river crust. The rest of the day I didn't recognize anyone's faces. It was like their mouths and noses and eyes all blurred together like a bad silver graph. I had to guess who was who based on their clothes. We didn't leave Dunwall for this shit. When the Pendleton mines closed up, we thought, now's our chance, we can go to Circonos. There's better pay and better weather. Now? Maybe we should have stayed. I don't know. I can't handle this. I can't go down there not knowing what I might see. Please, you have to believe me. You're the only one who knows. That sounds like a fairly unpleasant time. Can I... No, I cannot. Can I... Nope. But I can get stuck. How did these people get in and out of here? That looks like it might be stairs on the other side, but where's the door?
when an open window is less helpful than you expected it to be. Here we go. Strong arms. Choke enemies unconscious slightly faster. Well, kind of handy, I guess. Now there's still one more over that away. Hmm, is this an opening? It is. It's right in there. Okay. Silver fever swept through Karnaka this week as would-be prospectors hoisted a shovel and left to strike it rich at Shindari Peak. The recent discovery of, sick of thick veins of silver ore at Shindari North Quarry has brought unprecedented profits to mining companies and small claim holders alike. Reports say the lightest stroke of the pick uncovers silver nuggets worth thousands. The wild rush to make a fortune means that claims on the peak are going fast, but there are still opportunities for work as miners with the Shindari Mining Company. The company offers a percentage of profits to all who sign on to dig for them. So what are you waiting for? To Shindari. And yet people deny it exists? That seems unlikely, don't you think? Hmm. Can I get through? No. But I can get through. Because I am fast. What is that thing? Ah, it makes my eye burn. Oh, what thing? Where? Oh, is it that? Hmm. What indeed is that thing? Agile recovery. Recover from falls slightly quicker. Eh. Pretty abundant whale oil. Much of it wasted. Good thing the power still works. All right. Well, we got the bone charms that we detected, so now I guess it's time to go back to where I jacked those cultists. This is where I came out. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a peek through their keyhole. And, uh... Perhaps even find some more cultists. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. You've got a bone charm? Give me that. Whirlwind. Sword attack speed slightly faster. Meh. I think there are too many dead cultists over there. safe enough. Any goodies for me to steal before I leave? Up we go. Let's let's not sprint, actually. I'm not really sure how close by the next enemies are. 
So the outsider mentioned whatever god there was before him. Do you suppose the people that created him also killed this god? Or were they acting because the god was destroyed by some other means and they felt it was important for there to be an outsider? And, uh... Why didn't they care what his name was? Why did why did they take somebody that they didn't know or perhaps even didn't like and turn him into a god? Concerning reports have disrupted... Uh, we read that one already. Did they perhaps not know that they were creating a god? Downstairs. Well, fine. I guess I do need to figure out how to get down there. It's in here. That way is shut. What else we got? I'm guessing there used to be a walkway. Maybe not. This is a strange arrangement, though. smash those boards, but... Huh. There we go. Who would have thought that was the way to do it? Distracting visit. When using displace an alternate Billy appears at your previous location, distracting enemies. That's kind of cute might be handy. Oh, did I have to find that? I, I did have to find that. From the library yesterday. You communed with the eye. Tell me how you feel. For my studies. Yes. I stared into its core and recognized myself. It yearns as I yearn. Under its gaze, I sank beneath the surface of these waters. I walked the path of the envisioned and witnessed the churning of the void in them. Oh. I still feel the eye's presence in my mind. Yes, yes. The dead see with such depth. The eye of the dead god sees all our desires. One day we too shall see the truth. I know it. All right, the Eye of the Dead God. And we got a mission clue. Let's see what that's about. Found near the library, the cultists appeared to have found, discovered a way to see the void with it. Okay. To the Eye. I'm pretty sure that's where the To the Minds marker was. So it just became a To the Eye instead. All right, get marked, and also you, and uh, that ought to work. Come back to check you out in a minute. Are you sure? So 
you want to die. No, rude. Come on. All right. Now we have one more. She was on the roof. She is no longer on the roof. There we go. That went surprisingly well. Only got shot once. Got kicked a couple of times. And now everybody's having a nice little nap. Tonight we commune with the eye. When you've finished your studies for the evening, leave the library and join us in the chamber. The relic will look inside us and we must, age, we must aid its search. The void lies inwards. We must bring it to the surface to see its truth. Bring three sharp knives. That's a lot of sharp knives. Does everybody have that? He doesn't have it. Silver Fever. up somewhere. That might be my way to the eye. Would have thought that I would be taking that slopey elevator, but... Oh, that trick might not work this time. Ah, oh, we can do it from over here. Okay. Or we could, if we push the right button. There we go. I guess maybe with that one I could have just... done a simple displace. But it worked out. Why can I only carry one of those? I didn't expect there to be so much over here. I didn't expect there to be so many over here. That's it. Some are ready to share their attachments. I remember one man, we made some aristocrat from the dragon, was granted permission to join us here. The fool brought his prize hound. As if you could keep it in the mine. As if we don't have enough vermin. What happened to it? We had him kill it. Drove a knife through its eye. Then we killed him. Why? Because he went. Cool story. Why are these people digging in these weird places? Anybody there? Hmm. Is someone asking Is for someone trouble? There? No, oh, damn it. That's not gonna work out for me. That worked really out okay. You could just show up in a place like this. You've seen too much. What you gonna do, buddy? Well, that was nice of you. I'll end your miserable life. Will you? Or will you take a nap? Oh, look at that. We're all out of time for episode 14. Come back and see me again in episode 15, and I will 
knock out some more cultists, criticize their unusual choices regarding digging locations, and uh, maybe gaze into the eye of a dead god. Talk to you soon.